people sometimes. Yeah. So I'm like, it's also scary, just people who are like 15, 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, thrust into the some um, thing that they imagine is permanent, and so you know, they're. It, you start to see. I start to learn like, which creepy. kids can handle it, and which kids are probably not going to handle it. You yeah. Even seeing it in the interviews, it's interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Pretty good. Okay, yep. great. <clears throat> You, you know what I loved about um, both of you on screen? You had such an easy relationship with your characters. Um, I didn't know if you guys had an opportunity to establish that off screen or if you guys knew each other before. Was it just chemistry? We did know each other before. Yeah. 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 For, for years, actually. Yeah. I was friends with his dad. We went to college together. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he was little. I met him when he was smaller, yeah. Aww. Yeah. Well, what a great opportunity then to finally work together on screen. This is the first time, right? This is the first time that we worked together on screen, although actually Simon and my first movie that we got cast in was a movie called Mumford that Kevin was also in, and so we reconnected there. Not We never had any scenes together, but we were all there at the same time, and that was a nice... Uh, was I remember nice his mom scurrying, and, I, and I, I tried to, you know, I hadn't seen her in a while, and she said, I can't talk now, my son's in the dailies. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited to get to those dailies. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But in all the scenes with him, I felt it, it, I felt very well taken care of. You know, I mean, I was able to do a lot of good work, I think, because I had him. And, and it's such an interesting topic, because uh, it's such a specific type of amnesia that your character has. Yeah. Do, mm -hmm. do you have to do a lot of research and kind of study that? or? Uh, this was sort of like the, the first thing I came across that, that actually Jocelyn told me about, mm -hmm. uh, some Oliver, uh, Oliver Sacks book which has a Korsakoff syndrome case in it called yeah. the Lost Mariner. And that really kind of succinctly just sort of, you know, it, 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 can, it, it contained the kernel for the character. Oh, I love that. Uh, That's a well-known book, too, so. Yeah. yeah. And all her writing, I didn't have, you know, there was no, you know, in a film, sometimes you'll change words or you'll do, you'll find things. Really didn't have to do any changing at all. The, the, her writing was just beautiful. Uh, you could come right inside the characters, and and then I was just surrounded by lots of wonderful actors. So, you know. Yeah, that's what I noticed uh, about the film. It was very intimate. It felt very personal. Um, mm -hmm. Did you guys feel that on set? Because it came across in the movie. Yeah, absolutely. It, it was interesting because it it felt it felt very personal. It felt very personal to Jocelyn too. Even though this is a completely fictionalized story, there's nothing about it that I even recognize in her life, you know, at all. I, I don't know where it came from uh, for her, but um, it did feel very personal. I mean, it, it was a small movie, so there was a intimacy there that, um, you know, we were all stuck there together and, and, um, and we all believed in this script. I think that was the thing that just sort of brought us all together is that Jocelyn had written this beautiful, strange, um, unique script and so there was a uh, it sort of raised everybody up there it, it didn't feel like anybody was there just to be there or for the for the cash <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jason and Simon are pals from way back and you know I w w would want to mention that when we were working Jocelyn within the scenes, his eye on the outside of being able to help us sort of in a directorially, even though he wasn't the director, he was, he really provided a nice accuracy to all our performances. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was asking him earlier, I'm like, you're part of their acting tribe now officially because you're doing another, you did another film with them. Yeah, you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like a collection of actors. <laughs> Now, in the story itself, um, you know, the father-daughter relationship, it's, it's always something that's special in real life, but mm -hmm. this movie has a very delicate balance because, you know, Gene thinks that his daughter is actually his ex-wife. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of maintain that where, because they are sort of courting each other, but everyone has different purposes and different reasoning behind it? It's, a, it's an interesting question because, you know, I never, I never felt a, sen a sexuality uh, toward her. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure why I didn't, but I, I, I always felt a, uh, a, a, a strong love, you know, but, but it didn't go into any other areas. I mean, there was one place where I touched her that 
I, you know, I didn't quite a mean to upset her, but I, I think I did, you know, just prior to when, on the swings, you know, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, I never, you know, maybe in some way down deep, maybe there was a daughter, uh, you know, a, a relationship there that I just didn't know about. Uh, there are little, in this disease, there are little places that get through. There's, there's, they're minuscule, but, but, and it, it may be something that had to do with that, but I thought we, we hit, hit that edge pretty good. They hit the know. note real, right? Yeah. And yeah. The, you were just saying like how moments of clarity sort of happen for your character. Yeah. You sort of, your character sort of plays into that and just kind of goes along with it, though, like he's here, he's not here. And yeah, I mean, I think, you know, generally uh, he, he really cares about Gene and um, wants him to get better if it's possible, but has just been sort of going through the daily thing of, oh, he's lucid, uh, lucid right now, and now is a sort of a more murky period and just going through the motions. And, you know, I think it's an interesting thing. He's, he's been working there for a couple of years, but he's still relatively new, new enough to, to when he sees changes happening, think I'll I'll follow this along. I'll let this happen, even though it's not protocol and not encouraged. Um, he, at the end of the day, he sees the final product, which is that Gene seems happier, and he even starts seems like he's having more lucid moments and remembering more things. And so, it's a sort of delicate thing where, at the end of the day, he's really he wants to be there for Gene. He wants to protect Gene. He doesn't want to put Gene in any situation that'll. Um, be bad for him, so he he goes a little against the rules. But um, yeah, it was it was it was a lot of fun. It was such a Jocelyn did such a great job of putting all these playing pieces together in such an interesting way. And you know, the the fact that her character um, has left, or her mother had left him, had left Jean before, and her mother was with another man. That sort of lost love that is there for Gene, it, 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 I don't know, it's, it's, it, it creates a perfect dynamic between the two people trying to reconnect, having both experienced a, a loss, her of her father and Gene of his wife, and I think that's partly what makes it so beautiful. Good way to sum it up. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. So nice. I really enjoyed